happy Monday, everyone. So today, I'm going to talk about something that was a video request from someone who saw my video about how to detect crusties, or aka a potentially abusive partner. One of the things that I talked about in that video is that usually that partner, that potentially abusive partner, will not match your beauty. And she was saying, hey, you know, we need to talk about this more. And so I said, oh, really? You know, tell me what you mean. And she's saying that essentially through media and different things, women are taught not to want someone who is attractive to them, someone who um, doesn't inspire them when they see them. That essentially we should be looking um, to essentially accept any kind of guy, um, if he has money, uh, if he has some kind of status or some level of success, that that that's, that's supposed to be what's supposed to appeal to us and not actually um, how they look. And the thing is, for me, you have to realize my eyes work. And I'm not talking about just these eyes. This eye works. And I have realized that this is just in my personal experience, okay? So I can't speak for everyone else there. Maybe there's some women who just have special uh, skills and gift sets that I just don't have, and I'm okay with that. But when I see a man out there, I can essentially see who they are. And I have found that the more attractive the man to me, so it's personal, right? The more I can see their personality, their heart, who they really are. And I find that when they are unattractive to me, okay, they aren't right. And I have, and I can, and I can say this with confidence because I've dated all kinds of looking men. Okay. I have dated men that I was not physically attracted to. Um, I can say that. And I did that on purpose. I started out in this dating game purposely, um, with the idea that I was going to try to look beyond the flesh. I did try that. And what I found is that when I looked at the flesh, that relationship was far, far better and exceeded every other relationship I had in my attempts to look beyond the flesh. And that says something to me. It says a lot to me. And remember, what's attractive to me is not going to be attractive to another woman. Okay, we all have our different preferences, but we're taught to put those preferences aside to accept another, anything else, really. And then it doesn't help, and I call it something called ugly rapper syndrome. And I came up with that syndrome when I realized that people like Lil Wayne and Jay-Z were getting play. I mean, and then you can just go on in the history of rappers, unattractive rappers. They were getting play from these really beautiful women. I'm like, oh my gosh. And now here are these men, and then, then just looking at the music videos, you'd have these guys that look like Krusty the Busty and they'd be in these videos and they'd be flanked by these gorgeous women and and the thing is is that that was being pushed on to women and young women growing up and I remember looking at my friends you know wanting to look like these video girls or being self-conscious I mean that's when the whole weave thing started to come into play that's when more and more women started to look more and more artificial and really mimicking those images that they saw all so they could get a crusty busty and that's the part that really just baffles me and so we try to act like media doesn't have an effect on how we choose people but the biggest duping was watching Jay-Z get with Beyonce because that is a, a visually unmatched pair. And I don't know how they work and I don't really care. You know, if they got love, they have love. That's fine. And that's okay if that's what you want to do. But what I'm saying today is that women, you don't have to do that. You can be with a man that you deem attractive. You can be with a man that when you see them, you feel a little spark somewhere inside of you that you didn't even know existed. And I'll give you two quick examples before I, I conclude this video. And it happened recently, which is why I felt even more compelled to tell you this. Well, I have two gigs. So one of my gigs is my healing gig, and I'm at and I'm doing a, a session with someone. This man was very attractive. This man's attractiveness actually inspired me to really even work harder. It gave me, it wasn't even just with him, but meaning a zest for the work that I do because doing healing work can be a little stressful. But when you have an attractive customer, you know, come into your world, you're like, you know what? I want to do more of this. And I have been doing more of it. That little just spark really inspired me to do even more. And I have been, I've been having so much fun with the energy more than I had in a long time because I had an attractive customer. <laughs> 
Another example. Um, at my other gig, here I am. Um, someone came in. Uh, they had this guy who was supposed to come in for um, someone who was going to be out, I think, sick or something. This was an attractive man. This man lit up the entire day. Uh, sometimes I can work long shifts. Lift, I mean, the day, the, I mean, everything. The, the inspiration that he brought forth is, is just amazing. Even now, even when I think about it, right? I almost, you know, so the thing is, and none of these men I wanted to um, engage with romantically, it wasn't like that. But a man that I deem attractive, what that does to me, how that brings me up, how um, there's a smile on my face that, 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 that feels different. More than just, you know, a beautiful day, more than just, you know, Know, maybe everything going my way that day an attractive man is in, is inspirational okay so when you think about women out there um, denying themselves of that in their love lives I mean that just blows my mind and I can't speak for you know everything else I'm just speaking from my own personal experiences I mean sexual orientation I'm like y'all can tell me what how that works for you but I can speak from this experience when I see an attractive man something happens to me within i mean i just feel alive like a like that that's how i feel and so when when i hear this idea that we're supposed to be just looking for personality or you're being kind of programmed to not appreciate attractiveness in a possible mate that right there that's a crime and you guys are being fooled so stop it absolutely stop it the idea that I would pair or with someone that I don't find attractive is essentially me saying I want this this experience on earth to be one of the worst experiences that I could ever ever dream up no I'm gonna be I'm, I'm attractive men that's it that's how I'm living I need that spark that spark is beautiful that's what makes me inspired to just walk outside that's very important, and I'm sure that it's probably vice versa. So why would we rob ourselves of that? Women, wake up. Wake the hell up and realize you can be with an attractive man. Okay? All right. <sighs> That's a spiritual thing, too. I mean, this it goes deep, but I'll let you guys figure that out. All right. Have a happy, 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 happy Monday. And open your eyes and realize they work. Stevie Wonder. I want you to look at Stevie Wonder's wives. How did he figure it out? But yet, women are fooled and thinking that they can't figure it out. Okay. All right. Happy Monday, everyone. Bye-bye.